I am Anil Kumar. We are exploring inverse trigonometric functions and now we will find exact value of composition of such inverse functions. So we have two examples here. We will try to find exact value of tan sin inverse x and then tan sin inverse minus 2 over square root 5. So if you have to calculate tan sine inverse of x, what we can do is we can write uh, y equals to sine inverse of x. So in that case, sine y will be equal to x, right? Now if sine y is x, it can be represented uh, with the help of a right triangle. Uh, let me sketch one here. I am sketching a triangle with positive value. It could be applied with the negative value also. Uh, when we say y is sine inverse of x, sine y is x. So in that case, sine y in equals to x really means that if this angle is y, sine is the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse, right? So it is basically opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite side should be x and the hypotenuse should be 1. So that is how we could treat this as. Now if that is the case, then what is the base equal to? Base applying the Pythagorean theorem will be 1 square minus x square square root. So I could write this as 1 minus x square, right? So from here, it is clear that sine y y could be written as, so we could write this tan sine inverse of x as equals to, let me write down now, let me link this to first. So we'll go from here to this place. Okay. So tan sine inverse of x, since sine inverse of x is y, I could write this as equal to tan y, correct? And from this figure, you can say tan y is opposite over adjacent side. So you could write this as equals to x over square root of 1 minus x square. Okay. So that is how you can find the value of the given expression. Remember, this is only valid when x is between minus pi by 2 and pi by 2. Right? So that is the domain of this particular function. Now let us do the second one. So this was the general expression. Now we'll see how to do this. And here specifically I've taken negative sign here. So as we did last time, we'll say let sign, I mean sign inverse of minus 2 over square root 5 equals to y, right? So in that case, minus 2 over square root 5 will be equals to sine y, right? So this could be represented in, in a diagram kind of like this. Now as you know, sine inverse is valid in the domain when x is between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2. Right. Since at pi by 2, tan is not valid, so this whole function not including minus and plus pi by 2, right? Since this value is minus 2 over square root 5, it really means that the opposite side is kind of going downwards. We are in quadrant 4, right? So that becomes the triangle for us, right? That becomes the triangle for us. And in this triangle, this is minus 2, right? This is minus 2. And this length of hypotenuse is square root 5. Is it okay? So this represents minus 2 for us. Now what is the adjacent side? So a square minus b square square root. Right? c square minus b square square root. Square of square root 5 is equal to, you can find this side, square root of 5 minus 4. Right? So this becomes, so this could be written as, let me write down here square root of 5 square minus minus 2 square square root, right? That is what the adjacent side is going to be. So that is equal to 
5 minus 4 square root and this is 1 right so this becomes 1 so what we get here is a triangle where the adjacent side is 1 correct knowing this and with our substitution sine inverse of minus 2 over 5 equals to y we can write the given expression as equal to tan y right where y is equal to sine inverse of minus 2 over square root 5 correct now from this triangle this is the angle y for us tan will be equals to minus 2 opposite side over adjacent so it is minus 2 over 1 or is equals to minus 2 right so we get our answer as the expression is equals to minus 2 right so that is how we can actually calculate the value when we combine tan with sine inverse right so here is a general expression and you have seen how it could also be applied when x value is negative i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best